Hey, Hexkins Invalidators, David Feeder here, coming back at you with another tutorial video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to exit your validator and how to withdraw all the pulse um, out of your validator wallets and, and get your 32 million back. Um, so I'm going to be showing you that. I, th I think I've got it down to one line. Um, I'm doing this live. I haven't tried it yet because I want to do it on my, I'm going to do it on my real live validator right now. And we're going to learn together. Um, first, let's do some shout outs. Uh, the first person who I saw actually tweet out the command to do it was uh, DU Hawks 24. And this was like a week ago. And he shouted out the command on Twitter. He actually used the piece of software from the official Ethereum repository. So shout out to him, man. He's a, like a pioneer. <laughs> He's taking that first plunge with all his validators, and he, he said it worked, and he got it. And then down here below that, Hodel Dog also confirmed that he um, changed it to the Pulse Chain Com ones once those were released, and he got it to work too. And that looks awesome. Uh, he's using his the local IP address of the validator, um, which is fine, and that should work. Um, but we also should be able to use the the one two seven. And another shout out to Gamma DevOps. So you can go to gammadevops.com. Actually, I'll show you how to do it right from, yeah, gammadevops.com and click on validator setup and scroll all the way down to the bottom. And then right here with Prism tested, this is the command that I took from Gamma DevOps and then I edited it and changed it a little bit. So shout out to him. He's an official Pulse Chain dev. Um, I know he's booked solid with meetings and just had to increase his price. So uh, he's swamped. Um, so yeah, but shout out to him. And he's always in his own Telegram chat room. Um, so yeah, kudos to him. He's helping a lot of people. So I took this and then if you go to gitlab.com slash David Feeder. And then you're going to click on Pulse Chain Validators. And then I've made a new script called Pulse Chain V4 Exit. And I put it all in one line. It's all right here. It's pretty much the same. The only thing I followed along with Gamma DevOps, and I'm using for the IP address 127.0.0.1 on port 4000. So we're going to give it a shot. Otherwise, it's pretty much default. Um, I've got it to match my past script if you use the exact same admin X username and the same folder structure that I did, then you won't have to change this. All right, so so that's where this all came from. It's been about a week confirmed working. So let's go ahead and give it a shot here. Let me put this away. All right, cool. So this is my real testnet v4 validator here in the top terminal window this is geth go pulse running you can see it's downloading the latest blocks imported new potential chain segment one block there's 14 transactions in it um, and then it was updated so this is this is what a normal geth looks like and then in the middle here this is the prism beacon and this is what it looks like normally when it's working well it finished applying state transitions there was two attestations on that um, slot right there and then it synced a new block so looking good and then down below here is my validator and I'm currently running 33 and this is where those 33 wallet keys are basically a, a testing or proposing new blocks and they also do something called they sync with each other new syncs and then there's a new sync contribution a new proof so and then aggregate index that shows which number validator it was that did the work so pretty cool so this is just going ahead and cooking along too so i haven't tried this yet but i think all we do is we just run that single command in a new terminal and it should work and there's also the launch pad let's go to the launch pad launch pad dot before oh dot test net dot pulse chain dot com and then you can see here there's a withdrawal tab now 
Uh, I've already read all these instructions. You can go through it too if you want. Um, all this top stuff really doesn't apply. This is all about setting your ETH withdrawal address, which we already did if you followed my script before. So we can skip all of how to set all that. We already did it. And then there is documentation here for how to exit your Prism Pulse validator. But if you click on that right now, it just goes to the official Ethereum one, which is what uh, DU Hawks used in the beginning, which worked for him, so that's fine. Um, all the like, all the technical details of how all of this works is also here too, um, like how frequently you get paid out and how many validators it takes per slot. It's a uh, pretty technical, nerdy stuff, but it's pretty cool. This is important though to know. Once we do this command, it takes at least twenty five minutes for um, before reaching the exit epoch. Then it takes another 27 hours before those funds are flagged as withdrawable. Then it could take a few more days for the next validator sweep to execute and send you your pulse. Now, what's cool for us is this last one here doesn't apply. Um, on Pulse Chain, it's sweeping validator sweeps. It, it literally counts one by one every validator just to see if you have any um, rewards waiting for you, and it automatically sends them to your address. So. In Pulse Chain, because there's so few validators, it does this almost every block, or I think every block actually. So we get paid all the time. In the future, like Ethereum, when there's a lot of validators, it will take longer. So, but for right now in the test net, we're just gonna have to wait you know, at least 25 minutes and then 72 hours, and then we'll get our pulse and then our validators will be exited and done with the network. So, all right, let's uh, let's just give it a shot. All right, so we're gonna go to gitlab.com slash David Feeder. We're gonna go to Pulse Chain Comp Validators. We're gonna go to the exit script. And I'm just gonna triple click it. And I'm gonna copy. And then I'm gonna just open a new terminal. Actually, we'll just do this and then we'll detach. And we'll maximize it, paste it. All right, let's hope for the best, here we go. Enter my password. It's downloading the software, good. Okay, downloaded newer image. Flag provided but not defined. Pulse chain testnet v4. Flag provided but not defined. All right, so it doesn't like that part. Provided but not defined. Okay, we're gonna download this to just a text file and we're gonna play with it. We're just gonna troubleshoot this live. All right, so it says the part it didn't like was right here. One thing we're gonna try is we're just gonna move it after the validator exit. Okay, so we're gonna copy this. We're gonna go back to our terminal window. So now we're gonna do a sudo docker stop validator exit. Because that's the container we just created when we ran that script. So we, we shut it off and then we do sudo docker container pruned. And that will delete the container we just made. All right, great. Now we're ready to try again. Now we paste the new command where I just changed that flag a little. Let's run it. Same thing. Flag provided, but not defined. Hmm. All right, let's try removing it. I'm just gonna, okay, so if we go, I'm just gonna hit the up key twice on my keyboard. We're gonna do another pseudo docker validator exit, pseudo docker stop validator exit. Then we're gonna do up arrow twice again, pseudo docker container prune. Yes, push Y and enter, that deletes it. Okay, now we're gonna run the command again and I'm just gonna delete the minus minus pulse chain testnet v4. Let's see if that works because it might already be built into the software now. 
Okay. That looks happy. That worked. So now it's asking for the wallet password. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my wallet password. Wrong wallet password entered. Okay. Let me go ahead and check what my wallet password was. Let me open this little folder here. We're going to go to blockchain, PW, PW. There is my wallet password. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and do sudo docker stop validator exit. Then we're going to do sudo docker container prune. Why? Okay, now it's deleted. Now we're going to run the good command again. It's asking for the wallet password. I'm going to go ahead and paste. Okay. It says use the arrow keys to navigate. Select the accounts on which you wish to perform a voluntary exit. Done selecting all accounts. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. See down at the bottom where it says, oh, look at all this. I'm hitting the up and down arrow keys and it's going through all of the keys one by one. So you can go ahead and if you just want to withdraw one of your accounts, whichever one you've got down at the bottom there, then, the la you know, right down here, this is the one if you hit enter, I think it'll just exit that one wallet. So you can pick which ones you want to do. This is so cool. Wow. All right. And then you can do all accounts and then done selecting. Ah, so maybe you can like, you can select them and add them to the list. Very cool. All right, just for simplicity, I'm just gonna do all accounts. I want to exit all 33 validators all at one time. I'm gonna hit enter. It says, are you sure you want to perform a voluntary exit on all accounts? Yes or no? And then it shows all of your validator wallet addresses. So I want to do shift Y for yes, enter. Important, please navigate to the following website. Make sure you understand the current implications of a voluntary exit before making the final decision. And then it points you to the Ethereum documentation for it. It says, if you still want to continue with the voluntary exit, Please input a phrase found at the above URL. All right, and we're actually going to cheat because Gamma DevOps has it. So we go to GammaDevOps.com. Did I spell it wrong? gamadevops.com What the heck? Hold on. Let me pull up uh, Brave Browser. We just had it. What's going on here? <laughs> gamadevops.com Yeah, what? Maybe it's missing the HTTP. Okay. Either way, the right here at the bottom of Gamma DevOps, the passphrase to exit is exit my validator. All right, exit my validator with a capital E. Cool. So let's go back to our virtual machine. Or the, I mean, the validator. Uh, let me switch screens. Let me minimize that. Okay, so we're going to type in capital E, X, I, T, my validator. Enter. Cool. Voluntary exit was successful for the accounts listed. URLs where you can track each validator's exit. All right, so this is pointing to beaconcha.in, which is the official Ethereum one. So this will need to get fixed in the future for the Pulse Chain um, Beacon Explorer, which is still being developed and still being worked on. So cool, so we did it. So successfully, voluntarily exited. All right, so we sent the command. So now what we can do too is we can also do sudo docker stop validator exit. And then we're gonna do sudo docker container prune. Oops. And yes, cool. Okay. So now we did it. Yay. Awesome. All right, so that's going to take at least 72 hours to go into effect. 
in the meantime, we want to keep validating. Don't turn off your validator. We're, we're going to leave this running. Um, if you're still, uh, you know, everything's still as before. We still got over a day to go. We have to keep going. Otherwise, we're going to you're going to lose pulse the whole time until the end. Um, once it's after you know 27 hours, I'm going to come back. I'll make a new video, and I'll show you exactly what these screens look like. I'm going to leave this right here just as it is. And then we should notice down below that we're no longer signing. I'm guessing it'll say something like that. Um, but I'm, I can't wait to find out. So, all right, guys, we did it. That looks good. I'm going to fix my GitLab real quick before I post this video. So when you go there, the command will be perfect. You won't have to um, struggle like I did. <clears throat> you just follow the prompts and you'll be all set. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. I will, uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.